Following AMD's SIGGRAPH announcement of their Radeon Pro SSG or solid state graphics, we followed up with AMD to talk about more of the specs on this device. It's, we don't have everything, but we've got a good amount now. So first of all, I spoke to AMD's Robert Jamison who gave us a bit more information on the SSG from Radeon Pro. This is not a gaming card, but it is very interesting to the industry because it may be something that we see in the future. So SSG, solid state graphics, there is effectively a solid state drive volt bolted onto the video card. That's what's new here. Other than that, it's the, the same thing that we always know for GPUs so, or for video cards. So there's a card, it's PCB, goes into a PCIe slot. There's a GPU on it, which is, by the way, a last generation chip, not Polaris. The WX7100, 5100, and 4100 Radeon Pro cards are the only Radeon Pro cards from that SIGGRAPH announcement that are on Polaris. This SSG is on the last generation. Uh, so that aside, video card goes into a PCIe slot. Uh, standard PCB with a GPU, standard VRAM on the card even. The only thing that, that's different is this extended frame buffer. So it's a one terabyte extended frame buffer, effectively, again, an SSD bolted to the card. And that SSD, which AMD is calling an SSG or solid state graphics, because it does function differently, uh, the SSG pulls eight lanes from the allocated lanes of the card. So if you've got it in a 16 slot, then eight of those lanes will communicate with the rest of the card, the GPU, and then the remaining eight lanes will talk to the solid state graphics device or power it anyway. Uh, so that's the, the big thing here. You may be asking if we're taking eight lanes from the GPU, does it sort of uh, reduce the theoretical maximum bandwidth that the, the card can push and therefore reduce its performance? But because of the way this system works, it actually comes out as a positive with those eight lanes being allocated to local on-card storage. The extended frame buffer uses NAND flash, which we explain in another video with an animation that you can see on the screen now. It's effectively, again, an SSD on the GPU, and that allows production users to store local large files that are actively being crunched by the GPU. So whenever the GPU needs a large texture or big data or composite objects, it will talk to the CPU and the CPU then talks to system storage or memory or wherever that data may be located. And if that data happens to be loaded from the system's SSD or hard drive or a network drive, you encounter a lot of latency. So the SSG bypasses this by storing local files for entire projects at one time. So this is something that you kind of use on a project to project basis with the production or workstation environments. And if we take an example of an architectural CAD model, you might be marking a city using ray tracing, for example, to determine where light will hit as it interacts with your building. So the example that AMD gave us was in Europe. There are apparently laws that restrict buildings from blocking light as it interacts with other buildings. So you can't build something that's just going to obstruct light for the whole city. And that can be modeled with ray tracing in these applications and it's pretty intensive on the GPU. So to load massive CAD models takes a lot of time as the GPU pain ponds with system storage from, in some cases, minutes to an hour. And an SSG means that you can eliminate the communication over the PCIe bus to the CPU, and then you further eliminate that communication from the CPU to storage, and then back again to the GPU. That is a lot of physical distance across the board and products and everything in the system. It's also a lot of latency that gets cut down. I've asked for a specific number, by the way, on the latency. Haven't gotten one yet, but we'll let you know if we do get one. The GPU can now directly communicate with local storage with that SSG on there. It's up to one terabyte, as I said, and that's mostly usable if the VRAM capacity on the card has been exceeded, which it probably will be with these production work cases. So and these rep told us that the card will probably have four gigabytes of RAM, of VRAM rather, but he said it might be more. Uh, but it is a one terabyte confirmed on the SSG. So right now today, the card is being sold exclusively as a pre-order with a dev kit only. There's no standalone card available, but there's good reason for that because you can't actually do anything with a standalone card just yet. So the dev kit, which includes the, let's see, it includes the card, developer support, of course, from AMD and their software team, an AMD built API to make the card actually work with software and documentation. That's $10,000, the card itself, uh, will be coming out separately at some point, but this is what you can get right now for the workstation users. And in terms of uh, using this card out of box, you really can't right now. So the applications have to be specifically and purpose-built for this on-card storage. 
because it's, it's not a normal thing. So you, they have to be built to accommodate that and make sure it's actually being leveraged to its fullest potential. Uh, and AMD has told us that they're working with ISVs already to build existing applications to support an SSG. So good news on that front. And then the rest of it, you basically, if you are one of these people, you would use the dev kit to sort of build your internal or other applications to support an SSG. And once all that software is built, the GPU can basically dump geometry, textures, composite objects, shaders, all these models onto the SSG rather than onto VRAM and then purge that over and over and over again or painting the SSD on the, on the system. And that helps with real-time scrubbing and uh, camera angle modifications for animations where you're not sure of where you want the camera angle to be but you don't want to render it out at super low resolutions just to play around. This bypasses that AMD scrubbed 8K video uh, from at, at 90 plus FPS from 17 FPS previously without the SSG. So that was their demo at SIGGRAPH anyway. We'll see how it works out in the, in the real world. Speeds, we're looking at a three to four X gain over system storage in terms of operating speed with this card for large models, but we'll have more info closer to availability, which will be in 2017, probably pretty early. That's all for this. As always, Patreon link, post video, links in the description below. I'll see you all next time.